If you are a developer, you probably have a GitHub account. And if you are like me, your profile page is probably empty. I would even say barren utterly uninteresting. If that's true, then you are at the right place because in this video I'm going to show you a couple of quick and easy tips to make your profile page on GitHub at least somewhat presentable. To make any sort of changes to our profile page, we need to create a repository which has the exact same name as our account name. So for me, that is going to be Alex Popovich. And as you see, you uh, should get a message saying you found a secret, blah, blah, blah. It is a special repository. Make sure it is public and initialize it with a readme because the readme file is where all the magic happens. We are going to add some markdown to the readme file and it's going to display all sorts of different things on your profile page. So make sure it is public. You can add a description. You don't have to and initialize it with a readme file and hit create repository. And you should get something like this. Now, like I said, this is a markdown file, so you can edit this in a markdown editor. You can edit this in Visual Studio Code or whatever text editor you use for for coding, but you don't have to. You can do all this straight from the GitHub's page. To upload any images that you want to use on your profile page, you can use the add file and upload files option. Click choose your files. Once you've selected the image or images that you want to use, you just click commit changes and GitHub is going to process the image and add it to your repository. So now I have a banner transparent, which I'm going to put on top of my profile. Now to start editing, I'm going to click on the pencil icon and we're going to have a starting header here and a comment with some prompts about what we can do to start writing our profile page. I'm going to delete all of this because I already have my template ready. Like I said, above everything, I'm going to add my banner image and you can do that by entering markdown specific commands but you can also enter regular HTML here so that's what we're going to do so for the image like regular you put an image tag and add the source and alt text to it and close the tag for my image I need to set banner transparent dot PNG and that should import the image. Now, if you want to preview your changes, you can always click the button, preview changes, and you're going to see the uh, whatever, whatever you entered, like in a regular GitHub repo. So this looks good. The image is being pulled from the repository. Three hashtags in Markdown are used to display a heading. So you can, uh, as you already saw, this is a heading over here. So I'm going to take this and replace it with a similar heading saying hi there and welcome to my GitHub page. You can add pretty much any sort of text into a markdown and it's going to display it like it would normal HTML. If you want to add a line that separates all of the bigger portions of your profile page, you can put three dashed lines and in the preview, you will see there is sort of like a gray line separator. In this next section, called what do I do? I'm going to add uh, technologies that I am personally using. There are two very nice resources that you can use to make very pretty icons with custom colors for pretty much all of the technologies, program languages or tools that you use in your day-to-day -day work. The first one being shields.io where you can build uh, all sorts of different uh, shields or badges with pretty much any color that you want and pretty much any uh, label or title that you want. And there are a lot of different options that you can use to style them. Shields.io works seamlessly with another great tool called simpleicons.org where you can find pretty much all of the icons for all of the tools and programming languages that you need. To do that, you just simply enter whatever icon you need in, your, in the search bar and you're going to get an icon for it. Let's say I want React and you can see there is react here so this is the color that they use and this text over here or the which would be sort of the icon's name is what you use in shields io url to show you what this looks like i'm going to copy paste one of the shields that i've made through shields io and simple icons and you can see what it looks like here so we have the React icon, the React text, and it's displayed on a badge which has the background color, which is the same as the React's logo color. Now, how, it, how did I do that? You need to use the image tag 
you set alt to be whatever you want and then the source is the main thing so in the source this is your main part so this is always going to be the same so https image.shields.io slash batch slash this is the interchangeable part the first part over here is whatever you want to be written on the badge so i have react here let's let's just put here uh, react test so you can see that is what it is so you can see the badge text change to react test i want react written on my badge and the next thing is the hex code for the color that you want to use for the badge you can get the hex code directly from the uh, from the simple icons.org you just copy paste whatever is in here so for me that is the 61 D A F B. Then you need to put a question mark because we want to put any additional parameters. And for my use case, I've set this. So logo is the actual icon from the simple icons. So whatever is written here between the icon itself and the hex color is what you need to put as the icon name and it's going to be pulled automatically. So this is, and it's not case sensitive, so you can put low everything in lowercase. Then we say, and for additional parameters, you can set the logo color, which is the icon which is the icon color, which I've put white for all of my images, but you can do whatever you want. And you can use a couple of different styles. Style for the badge is this one big icon in the end, but you can use the other ones as well. If you set style to plastic, you are going to get this style. If you set style flat, you are going to get a flat with rounded edges. And if you say flat square, you are going to get a square badge. There are also other parameters that you can use. I didn't use them, but you might find them to your liking. You can set the width, you can set the URLs, you can set the label colors as well, all kinds of different things. But like I said, we don't need that. This is the main part of the tech badges that you can set up. Now I have a few badges here that I want to display on my profile and if you if we click preview changes we're going to see that they are going to be displayed in a each in its own row which is going to be quite messy if there are a lot of technologies and we don't want that so to fix this you can wrap them all in a paragraph tag now that we have them wrapped inside the paragraph they are going to display in a single row which is what we want after that i'm going to add some more text based on the prompts that you were given in the first comment when you first made the repository and i simply wrote what am i currently working on which is my personal website i also write a tech blog and I also do stuff on YouTube and I left a contact section where you can where I'm basically saying hey if you're looking at this send me a message if you like what you see and I urge you as well to do that if you if you are here and uh, have any questions please feel free to send me a message I actually got inspiration to do this from a Twitter thread by Jack Forge where he asked other people to post their own github profiles and I realized my profile page sucks because it didn't have anything in it and I wanted to fix that I wanted to make something and I also saw a lot of cool profiles in the thread itself and I was like damn this these people have really nice profile pages I want to make something like that and I want to share with other people some quick and easy tips how to do it without any hard stressing work and here we are for the contact section i'm going to use pretty much the same thing i did for the technologies except now i'm going to link them to my social media so for the uh you use the same image tag with the same uh, image.shields.io url you just put your icon put your color put your um logo icon logo color your style that you want to use and then you need to wrap it inside of a a tag or a url and for the href you put your url so for my youtube i've set my youtube url for the twitter my twitter url for instagram and for my linkedin 
And once again, for everything to be displayed in a single line, I put it in a paragraph. GitHub stats are a world of their own. For me personally, I'm going to add a single widget that shows my uh, GitHub stats, but I'm going to show you other resources that you can use to make all sorts of different things if you want to put them on your profile. There is a very nice repo called GitHub Readme Stats, where you can find all sorts of different things for your GitHub Readme Stats. There is a GitHub Stats card, which I'm going to use. To use it, you basically just copy paste this thing over here. If you want, you can use regular HTML in your profile page and that's what I'm going to do. So over here, I have that same link, but it's written inside of an image tag. And I also added some different parameters. To use your own GitHub stats, you will need to switch your username parameter value to whatever is your uh, GitHub profile. For me, it's Alex Popovich. And I added different parameters here. So you can set count private to true if you want your private repos to be counted in your stats. To set the title color, you need to pass in the title color parameter and for the value you need to pass in the hex value. You can do you can do the same thing for the icon color. You can do the same thing for the text color. If you want to set the custom title, then you need to pass in the custom title property and your value for it. But keep in mind that if you want to have spacing, you need to use a plus symbol. And when I go to preview changes, I get something like this. So I've set my custom title to be Alex Popovich GitHub stats. I've set the uh, title color and the icon color to an orange but my icons here are not showing and that's because you can also set show icons equal true and what that will do is it will display icons on your stats card and if I go back to preview this is what it looks like you can also set background color you can remove the border there are all kinds of different things that you can use um, the full list of them is available on the on this repo over here. If you don't want to set your custom colors, you can just scroll down and find the themes. And you set a theme by saying just passing in the parameter and the value is the name of the theme. Now, currently there are these themes over here. There is also a preview for all available themes and you can go through them, find some something that you like and pick that. Or you can customize everything on your own like I did. Now this repo is pretty awesome because it has all sorts of different things that you can use to set up your GitHub profile. But you know what else is awesome? Helping me get to 100 subscribers by hitting that subscribe button. Okay, that was terrible, sorry. Next widget is used to show your most used languages. It functions pretty much the same way as the GitHub stats. Uh, you need to change your username to whatever your username is. And I've chosen to hide HTML here. You can pass in any number of programming languages that you want to hide from the list. Now for layout, you can choose to do a compact layout, which is very nice in my opinion. Uh, once again, you can set the title color, you can set the icon color and you can set the background color and the text color. This is what it looks like. Next really cool widget is the Waka Time Week Stats. For this one you need to actually have a Waka Time account. To do that you need to actually go to wakatime.com, sign up and do whatever needs to be done for your own uh, text editor. I personally am not using Waka Time because I've heard about it only recently but there is also in the same repo that I've shown you inside of the GitHub README stats there is a section for Waka Time Week stats where you set up your Waka Time stats the same way we did for the GitHub profile stats and you get something like this. And you can also customize uh, your colors, the background color, the title and uh, hiding, different, uh, hiding different languages and all sorts of different things. Now, like I said, I don't use Waka Time right now, but this made me thinking maybe I should be using it. If you're using Waka Time yourself, please let me know, is it actually affecting your productivity? Is it making you more productive? What are your experiences? I'm really curious to know your opinion on it. Another cool tool that you can use is Repo Roster. If I enter my own README repo, I get... <laughs> nobody has started this repository yet. Uh, 
and uh, here is the, the the code that you can use to show your stargazers. But if I if I enter a URL for a repo that I know has some stars, because that's where I found the uh, that's where I found the stargazers um, widget, then we see there are some people following them, or there are some people who gave them a star. Uh, stargazers, forkers, <laughs> and you can copy the URL from here, enter it inside of your README, and it will show your um, it will show your stargazers. So this is what my finished product looks like for me. You should probably have something different. And if I go back to my profile page, you can see the same thing is being shown here as well. And then after that, you have the regular stuff that's shown on your profile page. If you're looking for an inspiration on what you can do besides all of the things that I've shown you, there is also a cool GitHub repo called Awesome GitHub Profile Readme, where you can see all sorts of different examples of what people did with their own uh, GitHub profiles. And that's it. Make sure to subscribe if you like this video. If you want to make an even fancier GitHub profile, I will leave all of the resources that I found in the description below. My name is Alex and I will see you in the next one.